This is the Mini 14, and for 32 years it was the Royal Bermuda Regiment's service rifle. Bermuda itself is a British overseas territory and is one of several territories to have its own British Army Overseas Regiment. Formed in 1965, the Royal Bermuda Regiment is a Territorial Line Infantry Battalion whose primary role is internal security. The regiment is essentially a territorial or army reserve battalion with around 600 part-time troops. Initially, they were equipped with the British Army's L1A1 self-loading rifle, but in 1983, the Mini-14 was selected by the regiment. The 1980s saw other British Army affiliated units move away from the L1A1, with the Falkland Islands Defence Force selecting the Steyr Org. The Mini-14 GB, or Government Barrel, semi-automatic rifle was purchased from Ruger. The Mini-14 GB had a thicker profile barrel with a flash hider and a mounting lug for the US M7 bayonet. The regiment issued the Mini-14s with 20 round magazines. They were initially shipped with standard wooden stocks, but in the early 1990s black polymer stocks with pistol grips were procured from US aftermarket manufacturer Choked. Another unique attribute of the regiment's Mini-14s is the regimental crest stamped on the left side of the receiver. Less than a thousand rifles are believed to have been procured by the regiment. The Mini-14 was developed in the late 1960s by L. James Sullivan and William Ruger. Chambered in 223 Remington or 5.56, it's a gas-operated rifle with a rotating bolt. The rifle was essentially developed as a scaled-down M14 with a cast receiver and a simplified gas system and bolt. The search for a weapon to replace the Ruger began in the 2010s, with the German HKG36 and the US M4 both being tested. The G36 was selected and the short-barreled carbine variant, the G36C, is used by the boat troop and motor transport unit of the regiment. While the G36 was selected, budget constraints saw the British L85A2 adopted instead. The rifles, along with 1,600 magazines and over 400 ACOGs, were donated to the regiment in 2015. The rifles appear to have the HK-designed conventional L85A2 plastic handguards, instead of the 2009 A2 configuration, which saw the installation of the Daniel Defence Rail forend. The SUSAT sight has been replaced by an ACOG, most commonly seen on what became known as the Theatre Entry Standard or TES upgraded rifles. It has a riser Picatinny rail for mounting the optic, but no other rail space. The ACOG had been procured earlier, first for special forces use, and subsequently as a wider urgent operational requirement. On the top of the ACOG is a CQB red dot sight. The ACOG has since been replaced in British service by the Elkan Spectre. However, for the RBR, the ACOG represents a massive step up in capability over the Ruger's iron sights. We can assume that the ACOGs donated to the RBR probably came from surplus stores. We can see on some of the photos released by the regiment that the ACOGs are marked with IWLSW, indicating that they may have previously been paired with the British Army's IWL85 and the LSW L86 light support weapon. The switch to the L85A2 began in 2015 and was completed in early 2016. Thanks for watching guys, a little bit of a different video but I thought this was a really interesting topic that deserved a short video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Share the videos with friends and if you can please do support us over on Patreon. We now have videos available early for Patreon supporters as well as having a number of different perks including stickers. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.